you've probably, hello, I don't know, why did we start this off with a catchy punch? Nobody's here for a little bit. Today we're going to talk about ombre diapers because I got an ombre diapers package in the mail. And you probably already know about ombres because ombre is the person who's doing the wetness sensitivity uh, line in their PUL. That does not make sense but it should. Uh, but she said her first round didn't come out. So what she sent me is a mood diaper. So, I mean, that's, that's fun. Uh, let me know about what kind of diapers that you guys have received lately. I'm curious about what's kind of trending and popular. In my local Facebook group, everybody wants stout house diapers which as a Canadian, I find a little hilarious just because of, I mean, Terrison is awesome and Stout House is awesome. It's just like you guys have picked the brand that is furthest away from us. So Ombre Diapers is a wetness indicator diaper and she's been working on it. The wetness indicator should be close to invisible when worn and it turns blue when wet. And if I remember correctly, she said that these diapers that I have right now might not actually work. We should just pull up her email. What I should have done is had her on the show to chat about, or not on the show. When you open your emails and you see that there is an email. Grace the Babbler. I'm only starting using cloth diaper and she's using them right now. Um, what I was also saying was that I just saw... Um, an email from my kid's teacher that when Walter walked up to school today, he kissed another student on the lips. Awesome. That's exactly what I need my child doing during this like COVID wave right now. Uh, like everybody I know is sick. So that's probably not sometime. Okay, so she says the solid co colored diapers are not wetness indicating, but the printed diaper will have one. So we'll be able to experiment. Diaper tail service. You just post you got some pre-folds from the Geffen Baby. Yeah, Geffen Baby is amazing. I like working with her is awesome. So this looks like it's the solid from Kathy. And then we have a print. I'm curious. My girlfriend is having a baby at the end of the month. And so I'm hoping to send her some diapers and have her be my tester. And then we can see how this works. Oh. That look is the look of this is something different. Because we all know like what pee well and what cotton looks like. But this feels like, I'm curious. this is the print um it has the wetness sensitivity so the line on it which i know that this sounds funny but guys one of the most asked questions that i get from parents is how do i know if a cloth diaper is wet like i think <laughs> this is something that a lot of us really struggle with i think it comes down to like trusting ourselves and knowing on it but so this is a I don't even know how to explain what the exterior feels like. It's not really like key well. It kind of feels like canvas, but it's not as heavy as canvas. The print is really cute. The inside is athletic wicking jersey. It's a little, it's a small shape. It's not large, but you don't, but can you see like how it's kind of parallel? Some diapers have really long, like one set of wings will be longer than the other, but this is kind of like a nice parallel diaper. We've got this belly panel here and then it's got a front open pocket actually come to think of it when was the last time that you saw a diaper with a front only open pocket so a front open pocket and it's one layer this is also not like your traditional laminate coating okay i'm gonna have to get kathy it sounds like a velvet grace the babbler yeah that's about right like it kind of sounds like a velvet it kind of feels like a velvet it kind of feels like a canvas but it also doesn't have a pee well like it doesn't have like a traditional plastic belly okay so this is petite crown 
which kind of has like you can tell sometimes that there's like a shiny coat applied to it this does not have a shiny coat I don't know how I feel mostly because I just don't know how I feel about the texture it's interesting it's different but not in a bad way and I wonder if it will soften up I'm gonna need a baby tester we've got a front elastic what are some other things this is really fascinating I feel like she's been working on this project for a while and then we also have uh, reverse snaps so we have female and then male snaps there's a few reasons that brands do this. One of them is generally so that you can snap it like this and then pull the wing up and then the male bobby part of the snap theoretically reduces the sagging or the potential for sag. That's why Snapmart Bottoms did it. Hi, Megan at Milwaukee. Megan, you guys should go check out uh, Milwaukee diapers. They're doing some real thing. Mama Mia, I'm already interested. Yeah, I'm interested too. I'm really fascinated. This is intriguing. She said these, the solids, they had some errors. But the prints are working right now. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. One thing that I'm seeing in like the last couple of months here is some solid innovation in the industry. Like people have started to release some products that are like new game changers and it's really fascinating seeing how some of these women work because they are truly innovative creators. Um, I love that it's got a little bit of a thick... There's no... I'm. Um, well, she said I need to wash it a few times. <laughs> so let's... Okay, we could go get... I don't... It doesn't have any absorbency. It didn't come with any inserts. It was just the shell. So join me in my bathroom. We'll grab some water and we'll see if it works. She said I need, need to wash it. So if it doesn't work, it's because I haven't washed it yet. What I need to be doing right now is drinking a lot of water. But, okay, so theoretically, this is what it looks like. There's no, there's no insert, so this is... I haven't washed it. I mean, if you wanted to chat with me, Megan, you could. This was a fail. You know what? I should have put an insert in here. No. You guys, I'm going to wash this. And we will do a video again. Because that was an unfair ask of a product. And now I'm covered in water. But the line, like the line is a little darker. I just, I just think I should wash it and then I'll do an actual demo. Um, but you can check out Ombre Diapers on Instagram and see they likely have a video. I'll wash this a few times and we'll come back in a couple of days or weeks. I'm going to do some photography today because I'm going to get, um, and get the Luna Paca diaper prepped or, um, photographed so that you guys can see what this diaper is all about. If you are new, this is a great, easy diaper. Lots of mixed feedback on it, but I think it's really optimistic. And I have a package from Assembly Baby expected. I'm pretty sure that's why I have to pay $70 in taxes. And I just, there's lots of really interesting things kind of coming this way. Um, oh, no, that's what this UPS is. I have no idea what is at Canada Post. So. We will go to Canada Post right now and we will find out what we're getting. I don't think I had anything. What kind of products are you guys most interested in right now? What has been a diaper that is fascinating you? the most i really want to try a lumi assembly baby donates to milwaukee mission that's awesome it's really great when brands put that into their um their campaigns and that they find you guys to donate to directly i really like working with liz they are having a earth day sale this month i don't know if i'm supposed to say that um <laughs> 
I also got a coupon code, which I sent out in my email, and I know that it's not working. So I am going to call Liz and ask what's up. But I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to go back to bed because I'm not feeling super great. Um, and figure out why my child has decided that he's going to start kissing everyone on the lips during cold and flu season. So until next time. Bye, guys.